when you talk about rap. Rap is part of the hip hop culture. The emceeing, the DJing is part of the hip hop culture. The dressing, the languages are all part of the hip hop culture. The break dancing, the b-boys, the b-girls, how you act, walk, look, talk, and are all part of hip hop culture. That's what Africa Bambada's de definition of hip hop. I Do agree. you agree with that? I agree, most definitely, I agree. I agree. So, I hear you have a new album coming out, and so how long have you been in, on the Detroit local scene as an artist? Well, I did my re first release was in 1992 under the Double G label, um, and that was Rhymes of the Assassin. So that was uh, 50, I've been on the scene for about 15 years now. Okay. And Raw Dog Recordings, what does that mean? Raw Dog Recording is an acronym meaning Righteous African Warrior Doing All With God. You know, we do a bit of soul, what we call soul conscious hip hop. Okay. Um, interesting. So your documentary, it's called The Rising Dawn? The Rising Dawn. And basically, what's the main theme for that well, documentary? Well, The Rising Dawn, that, that entails, that's my struggle to, oh, on the road to finishing up this, this album, which took me about 14 years to complete. That's what the, the uh, documentary entails and the struggle of just a Detroit artist and how the Detroit scene has been real, real, real hard to break through. All right, but you've also done a lot in between there, haven't you? Uh, quite a lot, quite a lot. Now explain the dawning of terror. The dawning of terror, the album from Poetic Menace, the dawning of terror, a lot of people get confused with that word terror, but we, we use that word to, dis, to describe the fear of something, and the, the fear is the fear of change, because there's a lot of negativity out in rap right now, and what we, what we are doing is counterattacking that negativity. So uh, the dawning of terror is that fear of change, and the dawning of terror is basically the beginning of that change. Right. Um, now, this, these changes, do you think there's a lot of things that may come to an end soon? Um, yes, I, I, I don't think that hip hop can survive uh, another decade or not even another couple of years in the state that in which it's in right now. So I think that uh, people are um, wanting something different in hip hop right now. And I, I am here to help assist those who are trying to usher in this new change or this new era of hip-hop. All right. And even though we've been shut out a lot, there are a lot of people we have to thank for the dawning of terror.